You know when you like accidentally like touch your face and you like slice your foundation? <laughs> hey fam, what's up and welcome back to my channel. I am that girl Shay XO, or just Shay for short, but actually for full too because it's my full first name, it's not a nickname. And I'm only telling you that because people keep asking. <laughs> I am so excited for today's video because we are going to be doing live swatching, lip swatching, cheek swatching, and eye swatching of the new ColourPop Cosmetics Fall Collection, which is stunning. It is stunning. It is so fall, but it's so many different... Oh my god, I just can't. I just can't. It's perfect. And this is a really big collection, you guys, so it's really exciting because there's definitely going to be something for everybody. They have new lippy sticks, six shades of the lippy sticks, six shades of the lip liners, two really beautiful blushes, and then eyeshadow. So, so grab a drink, grab a seat, grab whatever you want, grab a cat, whatever you require for your videos, and let's get started. Okay, I might look a little crazy here. We're going to do one on each cheek. So that they're not getting mixed up. First super shock cheek is called Cruel Intentions. And sorry that my grubby little fingers already found their way into these, but you guys, I'm a true makeup junkie at heart. And if brand new glorious makeup ends up on my doorstep, I do not have enough self-control like Temptalia and all the amazing beauty bloggers who don't touch it until they photograph it. That's off to you, girlfriends. Can't do it. So I'm first just gonna start kind of patting it on like this. This is a matte finish too, if you weren't aware. And if you're not comfortable with using your fingers, because I know some people really aren't, I just used this brush this morning, so it's a little bit dirty, but this is my Sigma Dual Fiber Powdered Blush Brush F15. This is one of my favorite for blushes, especially cream blushes. Because of the Dual Fiber, it picks it up really nicely. So, just if you weren't too keen on your fingers. Out of the two, I'd say this one's a little bit more on the rosy, pinky side. Um, the next one I think is going to have a little bit more of a punch to it. Yeah. The next blush is called Never Been Kissed, and this is one of my favorite, favorite movies, so love that they named it Never Been Kissed. It's hilarious. And I'll just flip that brush over to the other side, and this one looks more my style, more of my beat, if you will, <laughs> more of my tempo, more of my swag, I don't know, <laughs> dripping swag goo. So this one looks like it's going to be... Super, super pigmented, darling. Never Been Kissed seems to be a little bit warmer and a little bit more just poppy. Do you know what I mean? It's one of those kind of like poppy shades. And here they are side by side in case you wanted to compare. So the top one is Cruel Intentions. The bottom one is Never Been Kissed. See, Never Been Kissed just has a really pretty like hot corally pink and this is just more of like a berry mauvey pink and if i didn't already mention it these are only eight dollars which is amazing i really think it's a steal so next i'm going to swatch the ColourPop eyeshadows the first one i have here is called i spy and it's this really pretty like puppy peachy like cream smoothie type of color or like a ooh. or if you guys know um maximoa silk i use that eyeshadow a lot and it really looks like that the best way to apply the ColourPop eyeshadows are definitely with your fingers and you don't necessarily need a primer for these but if you know your eyelids and you know nothing stays on you without a primer then you're definitely going to want to go ahead and do that this would have been nice to have all summer even the next shade we have is called mixtape which is very pretty it's like a smoky taupey purple gray <laughs> just you know every color in the world whatever Sorry if my eye swatches are not perfect, but isn't that beautiful? It's just really great, really wearable, and if anyone likes purples and grays and is looking for something different, I think this would be a nice change up without being too much. The next shade is called Stereo. It's like a burgundy, but it's bronze. It has this gorgeous like reddish, bronzy, copper reflex in it. It's just gorgeous. Oh mama. This is fresh. <laughs> This is it right here. Oh yeah. So let me just school you on my stereo is my absolute favorite. First of all, I just blended this out with like a dry blending brush and look how smoky it got. Like just the shadow itself blending created all these tones and it looks like I created some killer smoky eye. And I didn't. <laughs> like, I want to wear this on my birthday. I've already picked out my birthday eyeshadow, and right now it's this one. Next shade is called Party Time, and it's a little bit more of like a muted plum. It's really not as dark as I was expecting at all. 
This is a really beautiful color. Oh, I love that. I think that is so beautiful. Purple lovers, you need this. What I love about it is you could choose to wear this in spring, summer, fall, winter, whatever. It's such a versatile purple and it just feels wearable and easy. It doesn't feel like my eyes are screaming purple and you know, clowny, not that I ever feel clowny in makeup, put it all on me. <laughs> the next shade is called Platin and it is a beautiful, beautiful olivey green. You guys know I love a really good dark green for fall. Oh, yes. Oh, I forgot, I think this is the one I, um, I had this, I had all of these swatched on my hand on Periscope and someone was like, what is that green one? <laughs> it was so funny. I love this. I think this is absolutely beautiful and all I want to do is find like an amazing hunter green glitter and put that hunter green or like olivey glitter right on top. I think it would be so killer. Like how fall is this? This is amazing. I feel like like a sexy lumberjack or something. <sighs> the next thing we're going to try is called Straight Trippin'. I don't know why I switched to a brush but I really am preferring it. This brush is really killing it with these shadows. The E57. It's like the perfect like size. Oh, yes. Oh, I didn't even know. I didn't even know it was going to be this pretty. Oh, yeah, baby. This is so gorgeous. Oh, my gosh. I, like, never. I'm almost worried that, like, ColourPop will take over the makeup world and then we won't be doing any more of these like layered smoky shadow looks we're just gonna be putting these on because they're so easy and so gorgeous like look at this the next shade is called boy band and it is more of like a bronze than the other one was this is probably more of like a true bronze or a true copper or like a penny this is definitely like a petty shade oh my gosh i die i die with every single one this is stunning How gorgeous this is. Brown eyes, blue eyes, oh my gosh. The next shade is called Central Perk. This is like really interesting. It looks like eggplant, but I can see like this blue or like very light purple duochrome in it or just reflex or something. I don't know. These are so interesting. They look like one thing until you like look at them again. Oh yes. Okay, nobody touched about my eye swatches are getting a little bit funky just because I've been applying so much to my eyes. I think they're getting a little raw, but I don't care in the name of beauty. So this is stunning. Ugh. I don't know if there's one eyeshadow that I've not been absolutely in love with, and I'm really having a hard time telling you guys which ones you don't need. I just feel like everybody will like something here. And last but not least is Girl Power, which is the one I was saving because A, I bleed Girl Power. It's why I want to still do my channel. It is what I'm trying to bring back, girl power all the way, so I love this eyeshadow. Plus it's a super fun, like, bright orange. Who wouldn't love this? Oh my gosh, you guys, this reminds me so much of Slow Burn from the Electric Palette. So anyone who is ever dying for Slow Burn, you can totally pick this up. Again, sorry if my swatches are a little off, but I love this. I think it is so beautiful. This is something that you could use in summer, spring, maybe not spring, fall, and Halloween makeup tutorials, playtime, so many awesome uses for this. I'm getting really excited to do fall makeup now. So now I'm gonna finish the lip swatches for you guys. I realized that I didn't show you one of the eyeshadows. I forgot one. So this is called Supermodel, and it is a very beautiful pale gold, I'd say. It's actually stunning. I don't even know really how to describe it, but it's what I use to blend out my lid shade, which by the way, if you want to see this look, I did film it, so I can put that up for you. But I use this to blend out my lid shade, and it actually looks really pretty, and I think it made a nice highlight, so I really like Supermodel. Okay, so on to the lips. So the first color pop of lippy sticks is called Oh Snap. I think this is going to be like a really wearable color that, that women from all backgrounds and walks of life will enjoy. It is a nice, um, mauve more plum and muted pink, so you're not going to feel 
two out of sorts. What I love about ColourPop is that they make an actual lip liner for the lipstick that you're going to be purchasing. So if you needed to match up a lip liner, it takes all the work out of it for you. And again, they're so affordable. You can actually afford to get both instead of like, okay, I'll get the I'll get the lipstick now and I'll try and like go find, you know, a lip liner on the other side of the store. The next shades are called Contempo. Sorry I'm doing the lip liner and the lippy stick together. It just kind of makes sense to me that way. Um, this is so beautiful though. This is gonna be great if you have a little bit more of a deeper skin tone, medium to deep. Fair could rock it too. Hey, I'm a firm believer in wear what you want. And it'll look great on the fair too. If you're a little bit more like me, um, you know, it'll just be a little bit more bold. You guys keep wondering why my like candle keeps moving like throughout this entire video. It's because my cats are freak shows and they're trying to play games on me and they like to act like they're gonna knock over my candle. They never have before. They've never knocked a candle over. But like I'll look over and I hear Lola just going like ding, 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 like and I'm just Let's do dazed next, since I'm dazed and confused. Oh my gosh, this is the lip I should have chose for that makeup tutorial I just did, or the makeup that I just put on. I think this is so beautiful. Reds like this that are like come on, somewhat in like the berry family are just so flattering on everybody. So next up is grunge. Grunge is a beautiful. I love these type of tones. I don't love them on me though. This is kind of like the whirl effect. I feel like I look so drab and washed out. I love Whirl. I love Whirl lipstick so much. And everyone always says it looks so nice on me, but I really don't see it. It really, I just think, I don't know. But maybe it's just a certain look. Maybe it's just a certain look and that's just not my look. You know what I mean? It's, I think it looks fine. It's just that, I don't know. The next shade is called Poison and it looks like it's going to be a really interesting red. What the fuck? I love it. Ooh, this is beautiful. Oh my gosh, what does this remind me of? You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me and I don't want to say it's exact, but for some reason it's reminding me of the Urban Decay Pulp Fiction lipstick and lip liner that came out, like, last year. You know I saved the best for last. This is the ColourPop lip pencil and lippy sticks in the shade Nevermind. Looks like a beautiful dark purple, but it looks like there might be a little bit of, like, royal in there. I'm just guessing. We'll see. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love dark lips. Oh my go. I really want to say, I think it reminds me of one of the Nasty Gals. MAC lipstick? Oh, see, this is this is why I love ColourPop, because for those of you who want a dark lip, but you're like, I'm not gonna invest in all this freaking money for a dark lip that I'm probably not gonna wear that much. These are so affordable, and it's just awesome because they're great, they're matte, they're long wearing, they're beautiful, and you're not going to break the bank on them. So therefore, if it dries out, if it expires, if you really don't use it like you thought you would, at least it wasn't like, you know, like a $50, you know, Chanel one or whatever. All right, guys, well, I guess that means that is it for my ColourPop unboxing. I'm so sad this is over. I had a fantastic time, and I hope you did too. Let me know what goodies you plan on picking up. Um, I love everything. I love everything. And if you want to keep up with me throughout the week and the weekend, you can follow me on Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook, Instagram. They'll all be listed down below. I'm having the best time on Snapchat with you guys, though. Thank you, everyone, who sends me your hilarious snaps. I'm having the best time talking to you guys. And a Periscope will be up this week, so I'll have my Periscope down below as well. I love you guys. Take care. I'll see you in my next video. Bye! I hope it's cause, I hope it's cause the both of us, we risked it all.